What's up everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to take a look at uh, a song called Come On, uh, which, or Let the Good Times Roll, uh, which was covered uh, by both Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan. But uh, apparently this song was written by a guy called uh, Earl King. Uh, but both Jimi and Stevie covered it, so we're going to take a look at uh, their version. And... Uh, Basically, the versions are, uh, you know, very alike. Uh, of course, each guy had uh, their own style, and uh, we're going to concentrate more on Jimmy's version, uh, which was taken from uh, his album uh, Electric Ladyland. Uh, now, he's got some really tasty licks, so I wanted to show you them, uh, and in particular, you know, uh, in, the ver in the chorus. So we're going to take a look more closely at his version. Um, the tuning of this song is going to be standard, so you don't have to tune down. And uh, basically, that's it. Um, let's go for the close-up. Take a listen first to the uh, to the opening part, uh, and then we'll come back uh, close up and break it down. Let's take a listen. Okay, so the intro starts off with some double stops, it goes like this. Okay, now this is Jimmy's version. He plays uh, two doubles, uh, a double stop uh, on the G and the B strings at the 12th fret in kind of gallop thing, rhythm. Then he plays uh, on the 11th fret of the G string and 10th fret of the B. So he plays one gallop and then just uh, straight 16th notes. And then we go into the into the verses. Uh, now Stevie Ray, he plays it a little bit differently. He plays it here. Now he uses these double stops, which are on the, again on the G and the B strings. On the G we have 16, on the B we have 15. Then he plays at the 14th fret, G and the B. And then we go into the verse. Uh, so the riff for the verses is very simple. It goes like this. Which is 2nd fret on the D string. Then we have a bend on the 3rd fret of the low E and back to the 2nd fret of D and this is, that's all we play throughout the verses uh, okay so after that we go into chorus and the first part goes like this okay so here on the low E we play 5-7 then we play 5th fret of the, on the A string then we repeat again 5 to 7 on low E. Then we play 3, 5 open on low E. So. So now we play an E7 chord. Alright, so. Uh, 
after the E7 we go into A7 chord like this and uh, it follow after that we play the first lick so this lick we have hammer ons on the low E we go 5 7 uh, 5 7 on A and 5 on the D then we are back to the 7th fret of A and to the 5th fret of A and uh, watch out for the rhythm uh, because he hangs on onto the 7th fret of the A of the last two notes 7 and the 5th fret and on the 5th fret we play a little bend so then we play open E again uh, and after that we play the E7 sharp 9 chord you know the Jimi Hendrix chord so so we play an E7 sharp 9 after that the next lick is which is pull offs on the G string we have 9 to 7 same frets on the D then we play pull off uh, 10 to 7 on the A, so we have and then we repeat it, repeat it again, half of it, we play again pull-offs on the G string uh, 9 to 7, on the D string we have also 9 to 7 and then he, he um, bends slightly the 10th fret of the A or you can use the 5th fret of D I, I used to I tend to use the uh, this kind of you know sliding you can do that because it sets me up after that we uh, play in the A7 chord so this uh, nicely sets me up for the A7 chord so after the second pull off we play all right so hammer on onto the fifth fret I'm sorry seventh fret of the D string or you can do like that, so we have so after the lick we are in the A7 the next lick it goes like this alright so here we have 5th fret of uh, D with the slide band then we hammer on onto the 7th fret uh, so after the hammer on we have uh, another band uh, release it back then release it to the fifth fret hammer on onto the seventh fret again then we have fifth fret a uh, seventh fret of the a fifth fret of d and low e open so after that we'll play the E7 sharp 9 chord again next lick goes like this so this we play right before we go into B7 and it goes like this we play 3-4 on low E then we play 2-5 on A 2 on D and then we're coming back to the second fret of A, third fret of uh, low E, and after that we're going to second fret of uh, A, which is a uh, part of the B7 chord. So again. After that we play the B7 chord. Now this is this is a cool lick. Uh, so after the B7 chord, we play open D, hammer on onto the second fret. Then we have a long a slide into the seventh fret and back to the fifth, like that. 
Uh, after that we have 5-7 on A and a uh, gradual bend on the 5th fret of low E. And back to open low E. I'm sorry. So after the last lick we play again the E7 sharp 9 and we go into right into the B7 chord and we are back to our verse um, now there is uh, another variation that you can play this last lick this one uh, you can go actually after into B7 right here in, in the 7th position and then just play like that on the A string so you would play 5-7 hammer on and then slide into the 12th fret and back to the 10th and the rest of the lick uh, just like I showed you 5-7 on A and uh, bend on the 5th fret of low E so you would play Okay, so now we are back to, <coughs> sorry, to the verses. We play the same riff, and after that we play exactly the same uh, thing uh, for the chorus. But this time there is less licks played, just mainly chords. You know, just playing. So it's a straight uh, twelve-bar blues. So we play the same chords. E7, A7, back to E7, then again A7, E7, then we go to B7, to A7, uh, and we finish it off with B. Um, and uh, right before the solo there is a build up and it goes like this. You know, and go into the solo. So let me tell you about the build up. We start off at the 12th fret and basically we're playing uh, we're going chromatically up so each fret we play it and um, basically the first half of it is just uh, octaves so we'll have the F sharp G A flat A up to the B flat just using the octaves and uh, as you may know uh, Jimmy and Stevie Ray you, they used um, the thumb around the neck grip so they would play it like this and when we reach the B chord they incorporate the the B and the high E strings just like the chord so they would play you know starting from B just going up chromatically up to E flat and then we go into the solo and so on. So let me play it one more time slowly. Okay, so basically that's it for the first part. Now obviously the solo we're not gonna take a look at it because it's they played like million notes per per the you know per solo. So um, uh, the only thing I would like uh, to show you is right after the solo, it's kind of the second part of the solo uh, where they play chords basically but in a, mm. you know, in a cool way and I just want to show you how they do it. So let's first take a listen and take a look at uh, how it's done and then we'll come back and break it down. Mm. Let's check it out.
the second part of the solo starts off with F9 going to E9, like that, and then we play, basically we're playing, like I said, chords uh, in a blues progression, uh, but this time we played uh, E minus 7, and uh, basically they incorporate this uh, note which is on a high E at the 7th fret a lot and they also pull it pull off to open you know and when going to a seven chord again using using this uh, uh, the uh, the um, the B note which is on the seventh fret of uh, high E so And uh, they play this little lick which, which goes... You know, and it's basically just going 7, 6, 5 on high E and then bending the 8th fret of the B string. You know, uh, generally when going from A chord to to E7, all right. So uh, they would play this lick uh, basically, but we follow the 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 blues progression. So we play, you know, just like the chords go uh, E7 to A7 to E7, then again to A7. Um, after that, we go to B. When we go to B7 chord, they play, you know, chromatic. Uh, down to A, but using the B13, and the B13 is basically, if you hold the B7 like that, and all you do just fret uh, the B and the high E strings at the 9th at the, uh, fret, you know, and just go chromatically down to A chord. And the last time, instead of going to F9 to E, it goes obviously to B. You know, and back to the beginning of the verse. Okay, so basically that's it to this part that I wanted to show you after the solo, the second part of the solo. Okay guys, so this brings us to the end of this lesson. Just keep in mind that for the solo you can use entirely uh, the E minor pentatonic or E blue scale. Uh, that's what Jimmy and uh, Stevie Ray are using. So you can use some of their leaks or you know just improvise your own stuff. And uh, basically that's it. If you like this lesson, please hit the like button. Helps the channel grow. And uh, until next video, I'll see you again. Take it easy. Let the force be with you.